Welcome, welcome to your city meditation practice. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lore and I'm delighted to be your guide today. In this class, I'll be guiding you through a loving kindness practice, which is known as Metta in Pali or Maitri in Sanskrit. Loving kindness or benevolence is one of the four Brahma Viharas or virtues of the mind and it is the stepping stone to developing the other three that are compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. And today, in this class, I'd like to offer a quote, actually two quotes, from the Dalai Lama. And I want to preface that while the Dalai Lama is a spiritual leader and a Buddhist leader, I am not citing him to entice you to adhere to the precepts of Buddhism, but because his words are quite relevant in today's world and in this loving-kindness practice. I also want to mention that he did not say those two phrases together, but there again, I feel that they are quite relevant when put side to side. So sharing his wisdom and his deep benevolence and compassion for the world, the Dalai Lama told us, we often know what to do, but we seldom do what we know. We must learn now that humanity is all one big family. We often know what to do, but we seldom do what we know. We must learn now that humanity is all one big family. So let those words sink in as you now find your comfortable seat if you haven't yet and you can sit on a chair or an armchair on your sofa on your yoga mat if you are seated on a flat surface i recommend placing a pillow under your hips to alleviate any tension in your lower back and allow your spine to follow its natural curvature I also suggest having your legs crossed in front of you that will create a sturdy base to hold your upper body. If you are seated in a chair or an armchair, I do recommend that your feet touch the ground or maybe a stool or a pillow, any hard surface. This will help you with the process of turning inwards. Your hands can rest lightly by your sides, on your thighs, on your knees, over your belly. And let your body be held. Let your back act as a strong pillar. Gravity doing all the work, anchoring you safely on your support. And you can keep your eyes open for now. Keep your gaze a few feet in front of you, along the ridge of your nose to the floor, the table, whatever is in front of you. Contemplating your space without intently looking at it. Your pupils don't have to move. Gently seeing without watching If you find any tension around your eyes or in your forehead, see if you can soften your muscles. Maybe even massage a little bit around your eyes, to your temples, between your eyebrows and in your forehead. Checking with your jaws as well. And then check in with your shoulders too. If you find your shoulders cranked up towards your ears, take a deep breath in and a long breath out through your mouth. See if you can melt your shoulders away from your ears. Find that comfortable space between your ears and your shoulders. 
whatever that space is for you today. And to begin, we are going to take three mindful breaths together, inspired by the words of the Dalai Lama. Exhale to the bottom. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale long and slow. Repeat to yourself, I know what to do. Deep breath in. Exhale, I do what I know. Full breath in. Exhale, we are all one big family. And as you let your breath settle, Take a moment to let those words sink in. This is your practice and you do know what to do. So give yourself permission to make it truly yours and to do what you know. And at the same time, we do share this practice, this loving kindness practice with others a community practicing loving kindness, our own big family. And as such, we share an unspoken agreement that we respect each other. We are all welcome and all of our individual experiences are welcome. If your practice calls for it, you can now close your eyes. And for a moment now, bring your awareness to your anchor of choice today. This technique is known as focused attention. And you can choose any anchor, any object of meditation that best fits your practice today. You can choose to repeat the quotes in your head as a mantra. You can choose to observe the sounds around you. You can choose to remain with the sensation of gravity, anchoring you safely to your support. You can also choose to rest your awareness in your physical body, be it by grounding yourself in the sensation of contact between you and your supports, or by scanning through your physical body, observing your inner sensations, your emotions, Alternatively, you can also choose to rest your awareness on your breath, be it by following your breath as it enters and exits your body, or connecting with the movement of your breath in your nose, in your chest, in your abdomen. Another option is to rest your awareness on the screen of your mind, the vast dark space behind your closed eyes and observe the shapes, the colors, the flashes that randomly appear there. Whichever option resonates most with you or any other option of your choosing, go ahead with this focused awareness technique for a few moments now. And if you are unsure which one to choose, your breath is always a good anchor to turn to. thoughts, sensations, emotions, distractions arise, kindly acknowledge them and turn your attention back to your anchor.
when your mind wanders off and it is normal it is normal for your mind to be distracted kindly acknowledge that distraction and bring your awareness back to your anchor like a passenger on a train watching the landscape pass by behind the window And if this exercise becomes uncomfortable, if you find yourself being jittery, tensed, your heart feels like it is pounding in your chest, maybe you feel that your chest is constricted, any distress, whether it is physical or emotional, find compassion to do what you know. And you know what to do. Take a break, pause your practice if you need to, stop your practice if you need to. And now gently claw your awareness to your heart center, which is not the space of your physical heart, but at the middle of your chest, under your breastbone, deep at the center of your chest cavity. And if it helps you to connect with your heart center, you can feel your breath pass by that spot. Or you can visualize a pebble, gemstone, a light, or any other symbol at that place. Whichever works for you, rest your awareness at the center of your chest. Your heart center holds your core human values, such as loving kindness, benevolence, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. for a moment notice a sensation of warmth at your heart center maybe you feel a soft tingling a gentle vibration picture a warm little flame at the center of your chest for a moment connect with the warmth of your heart your own benevolent compassionate generous heart I will read the quotes of the Dalai Lama one more time. Let the words sink in. And if they resonate with you, repeat them to yourself. We often know what to do, but we seldom do what we know. We must learn now that humanity is all one big family. We often know what to do, but we seldom do what we know. We must learn now that humanity is all one big family.
and for a short moment now let your mind be free let it do what it wants to do if it wants to think let it think if it wants to feel let it feel and if it wants to be still let it be still And then gently bring your awareness back to your physical body. Feel your body press down into your support by the pull of gravity. Notice the points of contact between your body and your support. Become aware of the sounds around you within your space. Maybe you can see some light coming through your closed eyelids. And before you move on to your next activity today, before we wrap up this practice, I'd like to offer another three mindful breaths to honor our time of practice, our loving kindness community. One more time inspired by the words of the Dalai Lama. Exhale to the bottom, full inhale through your nose. Exhale, I know what to do. Full inhale. Exhale, I do what I know. Deep breath in. Exhale. We are all one big family. Thank you. Thank you for your presence in this class. Thank you for your willingness to practice. And most of all, thank you for your commitment to yourself. May you always find your way to your heart.